Now, in terms of the technician visa, and as with every other global talent visa, it is available to you because you are showing that you are one of the brightest of the brightest in your field. And when I say that sometimes, some people switch off because they already write themselves off automatically to say, oh, no, no, I don't think I am. But the truth is that you are possibly a talent. You are a talent. You may not have shown it today based on the different things and all. You may not meet the criteria today, but the truth is that you can work towards meeting the criteria over a period of time. If you have less than five years of experience in the field of technology, we believe that within a two-year period, even if you have not started your journey in tech at all, you can be endorsed as exceptional promise. That's, you're saying, journey from beginner to endorsement. Now, I say you can because there are many things that you will need to do and many things you need to show for that endorsement to happen. And the criteria is there. We will go through some of it during this time, as much as my time permits. But then the key thing is that you want to go and check that criteria yourself to say, am I building my profile? Am I building myself towards showing myself, as we call it on the emigrate platform, towards being globally attractive? Now, this is important because when we do say exceptional talent or exceptional promise, when we do say that, you need to know that, yes, you yourself can be endorsed. Now, for some of us in the room, and we did the poll earlier, you are already qualified. And what you're doing at the moment is that you are putting together your application to show to the assessor, to your assessor, to say you are qualified. Now, a key thing that you need to make sure you do when you are submitting that application, and I will come to that as well, is to make sure that you show how you are the leader if I put 10, let's say you're a software developer, if I put 10 software developers in the same room, you want to show how you would be top one or top two of those 10 software developers. So don't just put together your application and just put anything together. Make sure you are telling a story. Make sure you are telling a story of you being exceptional. And when you look at some of the rejections that people get, it's not because they are not qualified. Part of the reason why they get those rejections is because they did not put themselves or package themselves in a way for the assessor to see, hey, this is the type of person that we are looking for. So understand what we are saying, which is that number one is that we want you to become that person that the UK is looking for, a leading talent in the field of technology. And then number two is that if you're already that person, you need to make sure you show yourself as a leading talent in that field of technology. Or if you have less than five years of experience, what you want to be able to show is that you are going to become a leading talent in the field of technology.